you can't do SEO without analyzing a ton of SERPs, search engine result pages. It's important to understand the different elements on the SERP and how or why information shows up in each of the different areas. In this lesson, we'll walk through the various elements that might show up on a SERP, depending on the phrase that's being searched. At the top of the page, we'll see the paid results. Typically, you'll see four ads, and if multiple ad extensions are showing, this might be all you see above the fold. For more competitive terms, you might also see a block of AdWords ads at the bottom of the page. The SERP will also show the standard 10 blue links, the organic results that you're targeting with your SEO efforts. Those are the basics. They're present on nearly every search you'll possibly try. Beyond the standard organic and paid listings, you could also see any combination of the following 12 elements. Number one, featured snippets. A featured snippet is a quick answer, the summary of the answer to the search query pulled from an authoritative web page. The snippet displays the source page's title and URL as well. There are three kinds of featured snippets based on the type of query and the format of the answer. Paragraph snippets, list snippets, and table snippets. Most featured snippets are paragraph snippets. Snippets are displayed above the organic search results, effectively creating a position zero. Number two, shopping results also display above the organic results. These are paid results called product listing ads or PLAs. Typically, they're displayed in carousel format and include images, price information, and review stars. Number three, site links. If a user searches for an exact business name or domain where Google can clearly determine that there's definite brand intent, up to 10 site links might be displayed under the primary SERP link. If all 10 site links are displayed, they'll show in two columns, effectively taking up the top five organic positions on the SERP. Number four, image packs. Image packs can appear at any organic position and they show a horizontal row of images that click through to a Google Images search. If Google determines that visual content would be a valuable answer to the query, an image pack might be displayed. Number five, in-depth articles. If a search query is broad or ambiguous, Google sometimes displays an in-depth articles widget. Three articles appear in the block, and while they look almost exactly like the standard organic results, the block only counts for one organic position. These article blocks are almost always articles from huge publishers with massive authority. Number six, knowledge card. Knowledge cards typically appear at the top of the SERP, similar to featured snippets. Instead of pulling the answer from an authoritative page, they tend to be information that's in the public domain either from human edited data or from a data stream from a Google partner. Unlike featured snippets, it's not an element that you'll be able to target with your SEO efforts. Number seven, knowledge panel. Knowledge panels appear to the right side of the standard organic results. The information that populates a knowledge panel is pulled from various sources, including Google data partnerships, human edited sites like Wikipedia, and data from Google's site index. While you can't target a generic knowledge panel with your SEO efforts, you will be able to influence what shows up in the knowledge panel for a brand search for your own company or your client's company. Number eight, a local pack. If the phrase you're searching for has local intent, Google will display a local pack in the SERP. The local pack appears at the top of organic results and is especially space dominating on mobile. The local pack includes a map, and three locations with address and phone number information displayed for each location. Depending on the type of local query, the pack will also display a website link, a directions link, or image and pricing information. Number nine, news box. If you're searching for something that's newsworthy or relevant to current events, Google might include a news box in the SERP. Results are pulled from Google News. The block is labeled in the news and includes several links to articles on the topic. Number 10, related questions. Google's able to analyze trillions of search queries, so if the phrase that you're searching tends to lead to additional questions or searches, Google might include related questions somewhere in the SERP. Labeled people also ask, the section shows common related questions in an accordion box, so clicking on a question expands to show the answer 
that looks very similar to a featured snippet. In fact, the answers displayed are also the featured snippets that display for each individual question. Number 11, tweets. For certain queries, Google displays tweets directly in the SERP, mixed in with the standard organic results. You can't optimize to show up here, but visually, your brand gets more recognition on the SERP, which could boost your perceived relevancy to the user. Number 12, videos. Certain keywords might display video results. It's more likely that YouTube videos will be displayed, but other hosts can achieve these results as well. So now that you know about all of the various elements on the SERP, it's time to move on and talk about technical SEO.